It's that time of the year where we're all in the holiday hustle, a very tight time crunch to get everything done in the nick of time. So this workout is going to maximize your time by giving you a Christmas crunch workout that will satisfy your muscles as well as give you some holiday cheer. How the Christmas crunch circuit works is that you will set a timer planning to do each exercise for one minute and then you'll quickly move on to the next exercise in the circuit. So at the end of it, you'll be doing the entire workout in five minutes. You have the option to stop right there and get on with your holiday hustle, or you can repeat the circuit as many times as you'd like. Now, for this setup, have your incline placed anywhere from a low to a medium level or higher if your body needs that extra challenge. You'll have your ab crunch accessory connected and you're ready to go. First exercise are plank tucks. So come into a plank position at the very bottom of your glide board. You'll open up into that plank, having your shoulders on top of your wrists and your core is tight. You'll bend the knees, dropping your forearms down to the glide board and then extend back out into your plank. So you'll take it nice and smoothly, allowing your body to shift along with your glide board. Keep your core engaged, stay long from your head to your heels and take your time or you can go as fast as you'd like for this one. Once you are done with the one minute, you'll move on to the next exercise. The next exercise moves right into your ab crunch accessory. So come into your kneeling position with your arms on top of the accessory and your shoulders are on top of your elbows at all times. From here, you'll just tuck the knees underneath of you, keeping it small, controlled, and precise movements. Once you're done with this one for one minute, move on to the next exercise. So you'll stay in the same position for the next exercise, which are oblique knee tucks. So turn the knees to one side, and you'll do the same exercise, just at an angle, making sure that you have equal distance and resistance on both arms, allowing your core and your oblique to do the work. Once you're done with that, hold the knees in, shift them to the other side, and do the same movement for your other set of obliques. Our fourth exercise are knee hovers. So stay in the same position, tuck your toes, and hover your knees over the glide board. Holding right here, and you'll just move the glide board up and down the rails. If that is too much, just tap your knees down, and then come right back up and hold it again. So think about leading with the lower back up to the ceiling, drawing your navel up, and holding that position. Exhaling your breath each time, and stay in control so that you keep that balance and that core activated. And our last exercise are leg lowers. So flip it around and come into a supine position. Bring your hands and hold onto the top of your glide board or onto the rails. You'll lift your knees into your chest. You can either keep them bent or extended. So first I'll show you bent knees, lifting your hips up and lowering it back down. Making sure that you're not arching your back. You're staying in control at all times. To advance this, you'll straighten the legs and do the same motion. Keeping the legs extended, and keeping that core tight at all times. Those are all of the exercises in the Christmas Crunch Circuit. You have the option to repeat this five minute circuit as many times as you'd like to keep your body into that holiday hustle. Enjoy keeping yourself fit this season and happy holidays to you.